What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Derek Brand Productions for another video. Hope everybody's having a blessed day. We have a pair of 2022 Mustang Mach 1s and I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys today the different exhaust setups on these cars and help you out on deciding which route to go. You have the Steeda X-Pipe factory active exhaust and then you have the Steeda H-Pipe factory active exhaust. And just to be clear, these cars do have the factory catalytic converters. The only thing you're going to be swapping out based on this video is the mid pipe which is going to essentially replace that big old suitcase resonator that has to go i wanted to bring you all this video today because if you watched last week i mentioned that we do have a set of cooks one and seven eighths long tube headers for maverick over here and before the car goes underneath the knife i figured it's the perfect time to go ahead and help you guys out so if you guys would man please help me out drop a like up on this video subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already and remember to text the dbp squad phone that's 804-837-1293 we have a free wallpaper for you guys right here on the screen as well if you shoot me a text i'll send one and this is just to keep up the date with all videos all merchandise and just to chop it up with you guys so we're going to start off with tyler's here this is his 2022 fighter jet gray mach 1 this one is equipped with the steeda h pipe now i will have links in the description for both of these if you want to check them out and you know steeda guys they are awesome chris thank you for everything man they are an official partner of the channel and an official sponsor of maverick here and both of these cars are actually going to be hooked up with steeda parts tyler's here is getting the steeda dual rate springs with caster camera plates and maverick here is about to be rocking the steeda sport springs with steeda's front and rear adjustable sway bars so be on the lookout for that two different setups maybe a whole separate video on suspension as well keep in mind guys these cars do start in a normal mode sadly i don't think ford uh you know gave us the option to keep it in my mode which you can customize like how the exhaust is how the suspension is so the car does go right back to normal sadly the only thing you can change is whether or not you want quiet start on like on my car i'll show you guys i have the quiet start option 12 a.m to 8 a.m so if i start the car in that time frame you know the valves will remain fully shut and it, you know, it keeps it quiet, so I'm not a disturbance. So this is startup with the Sita H pipe, factory exhaust, factory cats, and on a Mach 1. He's gonna pop it in quiet. And as you heard, the actuators shut the exhaust. Give it a little, give it a couple revs. So you can see quiet mode is definitely, definitely muffled. It works wonders. Very, very deep tone. As you just heard, the Steeda H pipe is going to give off a really, really deep throaty sound. And from every Mustang generation that I've witnessed with an H pipe, it's kind of the same thing for all. Now, when it comes to Maverick with the Steeda X pipe, these are gonna give off a more of a rasp. It gives it a little more high pitched, probably a little bit louder in the grand scheme of things. Now, does it sound as good? I'll let you guys be the judge of that. So here goes a startup with Maverick with the valves on normal and an X pipe.
they both sound great man you can't go wrong with either or but me personally i've always been an x-pipe kind of guy when i had blue two valve the first modification i did was the off-road x-pipe when i had blucifer the first modification i did was an off-road x-pipe and now with maverick you know stita gave me the option do you want the h or the x and you know i just kind of stick to what i know so i stayed with the x pipe at the end of the day though it's going to be extremely hard to really decipher the difference especially on video once you start switching things up such as the long tube headers getting a tune you'll really notice the difference but the main purpose of this video is to showcase what you can do from your 2015 to 2023 mustang gt on a budget because long tubes they're expensive to get them installed it's expensive to get a tune it's expensive and you're in some money so if you're looking for a quick little solution but to add rumble to your car one of the these options is going to be the best hands down So what we're gonna do for you guys is legit give you a smooth drive-by in every mode, starting from quiet mode up to track mode, just so we're not leaving anything out on this video. So this is gonna be Maverick Steeda X-Pipe in quiet mode, slight drive-by. You cannot beat that, man. You can't beat it. That's dude. the Steeda X the pipe price, and stock exhaust, the man. Ease of install, the legality. Just can't beat it. Sounds really good. All right. Well, I think On it's the Jaeger's next. turn, man. Steeda H pipe. Let's get it. I told y'all we weren't joking around with this exhaust video, man. So drop us a like, drop a comment, let me know which one you like so far, and make sure you subscribe with bell notifications, guys. But it's the Eggers' turn.
good comparison. Great comparison. I can definitely tell with my ears. I don't know if it came through on video. Like, I can take it in, but definitely deeper of an exhaust setup for sure. H pipe, a little bit deeper. X pipe, a little bit raspier. So, I mean, they both sound incredibly good though. And I, it still blows my mind because the older models, especially the S197s, it's kind of like when they started to make them a little bit louder from factory, but the new edges, the three valves were so quiet. And I know we did a resonator delete on the car, but even with the resonator, the car sounded good. Now it's not enough bark and bite in my opinion, but with the resonator, it still does sound good. To keep the testing moving forward, we're actually gonna go and film some rollers. Now the idea behind this is the camera car is going to be put in quiet mode, just cruising, fifth gear, super quiet. And then the car we're testing is going to downshift from fourth, third into second, give a nice little flyby, and then a shift into third, and it'll kind of give you the idea. You ready to do this? It'll be good. It's All right, good. let's do it, man. You wanna go first? Yep. Let's do it. If you haven't dropped a like for these two yet, man, y'all are sleeping. Get to it. All right, boys. Uh, yes, sir, we'll do track mode the whole time just cause I feel like you know, it's what everybody wants anyway. Now, you know what? Hey, scratch what I said, just drive your car. But be a little more exaggerated with it just so we can get, you know, some exhaust clips. Just downshift, do do flybys, you know. These cars are so freaking sick, man. I am super blessed to have this car and I can't thank y'all enough for the support. And speaking about support, guys, we do have some really, really sick merchandise dropping in July. So you're gonna wanna be ready for that. Only 300 shirts and these shirts are labeled 001. So you're gonna be able to start collecting every shirt that drops on this channel. If you actually want a sneak peek of the shirt, you can head to dbpsquad.shop. It's right there on the screen. You can see exactly what shirt is dropping and I'm so excited to keep bringing you guys more. We are gonna throw this car in quiet mode boom and i'll actually put up passenger window the single lane road i actually want to go ahead and take a second and just let you know if you're considering doing this just know your active exhaust in quiet mode still works wonders this thing right now feels like i'm driving a freaking prius it works that well and you know once you go active exhaust with like a full exhaust setup and you have the luxury of like starting the car in a quiet mode without being super obnoxious and if you are taking a long road trip and you just want to chill and listen to music, the active exhaust on these cars, they did such a phenomenal job. So Ford, good job. <laughs> We are now in Jaeger. I'm gonna let Tyler drive my car just so I can, you know, try to replicate the exact type of filming. But we're gonna do the same thing.
And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is why you should definitely snag yourself a Steeda X or H pipe for all 2015 through 2023s because retaining everything factory other than that horrible resonator, you cannot complain with how good these cars do sound. Like I'm very impressed. It's like one of the first times I've actually heard the car from outside and I'm just so impressed with it. Again, guys, the links are gonna be in the description for both of these mid pipes. Definitely a modification though, you guys have to jump on if you haven't already. Got a little wicked there, eh, bud? Snatching them. <laughs> up a little bit. Sounded good. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it kick out a little bit on yeah. you. That is the roller segment. Yeah. I think it's only fair though if we hop in each other's cars and film each other just kind of, you know, getting down on them a little bit. Say we hop in Jaeger. You will hop in Jaeger? what she sounds like from the interior. Let's do it. The really good thing, but yet kind of bad thing with these S550s is you will never truly understand how they sound from the interior because they're so sound deadening. But at the same time, it's it's a good thing to have that. It's not like no clunky, you know, new wedge like from back in the day where you hear every sound. Take this turn hard. already drop a like up on this video what else tyler hit the bell notification and please subscribe facts bro 250k coming right up i mean it's it's not hard it's not man i know and who, who doesn't like mustang content yeah, especially exactly. mach one content bro. especially mach one content you want to see it every single day just all you gotta do is hit subscribe boom donzo donzo time for maverick all right here we go hop in a maverick it smells good in here this smell good this air freshener's clutch bro You got any money in there? No, hell no. Not after this purchase. Shit. Jesus. Dude, I'm still so impressed with how good it sounds. It's this sounds really great. It's not much of a freaking install, let alone just like. The mod is just so simple, and that's the outcome. If you, you know what you're, wrong. if you know what you're doing, 20 minutes. Oh, literally, you just got to go underneath the car. Obviously, get it jacked up. You put the X pipe up to the briefcase because you will have to cut the briefcase off. You make two cuts, and then it just clamps in. That's it. All right, so we're in second gear. Give you a little. Some wicked machines, bro. They really are, bro. People sleep on these cars, but with the Trimic, listen, know, it's just listen. I, I know everybody's thinking, like, if it comes to an NA Mustang, it's got to be the 350. But I mean, dude, you cannot go wrong with these between the handling you get, the technology you get in these, and like the bulletproof aspect, too. 
Yeah. And completely bulletproof, dude. Gen 3. I mean, sure, you get your Gen 2 voodoos, yeah. but who knows how bulletproof those even are, uh, realistically. Some people, some people have had some issues with them. Like, mm -hmm. they definitely, definitely aren't, like, out of the water entirely, but obviously over the Gen 1 voodoo, like... It's a lot better. Those Gen ones, man. Like it's a it's a hit or miss with those, sadly. Because I would love to have, you know, twenty fifth or twenty sixteen or twenty you know through twenty eighteen Gen one uh, Shelby. We both wanted one. Both wanted both the GT three fifty, but it's just not worth the risk in my opinion. It's it's too much money to be like worrying about a twenty thousand dollar motor, man. You need a crazy. So I'm gonna roll through some gears. We're gonna get it to fifth gear. And I'm gonna downshift. going to be the most in-depth x to h pipe video you'll probably ever watch <laughs> hope you enjoyed though it was super fun to make i know tyler had fun making it oh yeah uh, we absolutely we ripped on the cars good today remember guys shoot me a text on the dbp squad phone it is no third party app it's no company controlling it i legit control this dbp squad if you've gotten a text back from me drop a comment down below to let everybody else know it's no gimmick shoot me a text 804-837-1293 again this is the stay up to date with everything see behind the scenes chop it up with you guys and most importantly we do this on every video Boom, 6.05. Hey! Y'all done caught me in the minivan today. Oh, got you oh, in the minivan. No. Dang. No. Dude, I did not mean to expose you like that. Cyber Orange Mach 1. Oh, yeah, Cyber Orange Mach. Hell yeah. We're out here filming Yager with them. Right behind us. Yeah. And then. And then, of course, you got Maverick. Yes, sir. But hey, man, we just wanted to shoot you a call. I appreciate it, bro. Tell them what you did. I texted the number. You got to text the number. So it's actually me, right? You can confirm it's actually me. 100. There we go. You guys go text the number, man. All right, Billy. Hey, you have a good rest of your day, bro. All right, man. Later. later. Caught him in the minivan, Caught bro. Caught him in the minivan. Dan, and he has a cyber orange mock. Billy, you're slipping, homie. Billy's slipping, <laughs> bro. bro. You got the cyber orange mock in here in the minivan today. Fun fact, bro. That cyber orange is like a color I really wanted. Dude, bad. I wanted it bad, man. All right, guys. I'm going to go and wrap this up, man. It's been an awesome video. Thank you all so much. Again, if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. Click the bell notifications. Drop a like up on this video. It literally takes a second, and it supports creators just like myself. Text the number. Check out the links in the description for the partners of the channel. Go shop with them, and make sure you use promo code DBP Squad for everything but with that guys we're gonna go ahead and peace out thank you so much much love and catch you in the next one